Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. In this video, we are going to learn how to add Facebook leads to Google Sheets for transport and shipping business. So, I am an owner of a transport and shipping business that is Speed Wheels Express. And I am promoting my business with the help of Facebook lead ads. And I want that whenever a new lead is generated in my Facebook lead ads, automatically all the details of that lead should be added into my Google Sheets. For that, we need to simply create an automation between Facebook lead ads and Google Sheets with the help of Pabli. Connect. In Pabli Connect, to start an automation process, we need triggers and actions. In this process, my trigger application is going to be Facebook Lead Ads and my action application is going to be Google Sheets. If you want to learn this automation process, let me take you all to my screen. In this video, we are going to learn how to add Facebook Leads to Google Sheets. So, I am an owner of a transport and shipping business that is Speed Wheels Express. And I am promoting my business with the help of Facebook Lead Ads. And I want that every time a new lead is generated with the help of Facebook Lead Ads, automatically all the details of the lead should be added into my Google Sheet. For that, we are going to create an automation between Facebook Lead Ads and Google Sheet with the help of Pabli Connect. On the screen, you can see the website of Pabli that is Pabli.com. And after that, I need to sign in to my Pabli account. If you are a new user, you can sign up for free and get 100 free tasks every month. So I am going to sign into my Pabli account. Next you can see the all apps window in which you can see the 5 functions of Pabli. So we are going to select Pabli connect by clicking on access now. So this is the Pabli connects dashboard and to start an automation process we need to first create a workflow. For that we have to click on this top right corner button create workflow. Then a new dialog box will appear in front of you which is asking for a workflow name. So I am going to give a name to my workflow as Speed Wheel Express Facebook Lead Ads to Google Sheets. If you want you can create your own name for the workflow. After that it is asking for me to select the folder and on the left side of my screen you can see I have created multiple folders. If you want you can create your own folder and you can save the specific workflow in that folder. So I am going to select my folder as Facebook Lead Ads to Google Sheets. After selecting the folder and giving the name to our workflow, I am going to click on create to create the workflow. So now as you can see, I have created a workflow in the name of Speed Wheels Express Facebook Lead Ads to Google Sheets. And you can see there are two windows in front of you. One says trigger, another says action. Trigger and action are the two most important steps of our automation process because our process depends on these two steps. Over here trigger says when this happens and action says do this. That means our action is a response towards our trigger. In an automation process, there can be only one trigger step but various action steps. So firstly, we are going to set up our trigger step. For that, we have to click over here. And now it is asking for me to choose my trigger application. So as in the introduction, I've already told you that our trigger application is going to be Facebook lead ad. So I'm going to select this. After selecting a trigger application, it is asking for us to choose our trigger event. And a trigger event is going to be new lead instant. That means every time a new lead is generated with the help of Facebook lead ads, automatically and instantly, Pabli Connect is going to capture the response. After choosing a trigger application and event, I am going to click on connect to connect Facebook lead ads with Pabli Connect. Now a new window will then appear in front of you in which we have to click on add new connection but if you have an existing connection, you can choose this option. After that, we have to click on connect with Facebook lead ads. Then as you can see, it says we have successfully authorized Facebook lead ads with Pabli Connect. After that, it is asking for us to choose a page. So in my Facebook account, I have created a page in the name of Speed Wheels Express. And in this page, I am going to promote my Facebook lead ads. So for the page, I am going to select it as Speed Wheels Express. After selecting the page, it is asking for us to select the lead gen form. And I have created a lead gen form in the name of Transport and Shipping. And if you want to learn how to create your own lead gen form, then you can check out our YouTube channel. After that, we have to select our lead gen form as transport and shipping. I have selected my page and the lead gen form and next we have to click on save and send test request. Now as you can see right over here it says waiting for webhook response. So what I am going to do now is I am going to submit in a test lead. For that I am going to open up my lead ads testing tool. So as you can see this is the lead ads testing tool. If you want to know how to have access of this page then you can check out our YouTube channel. After that you can see it is asking for the page and the form. So firstly for the page I am going to select it as speed wheels express and for the form as transport and shipping. After selecting the page and the form we have to click on preview form. So as you can see this is the form that I've created. So it is asking for all these details like email, full name and the phone number. So I'm going to fill in some dummy details. So for the email I'm going to write it as 
test user at the rate pablitudes.com. After that, for the full name, I'm going to write it as. And lastly, for the phone number, I'm going to write in a dummy phone number. After filling all the details that this form was asking for, I'm going to click on next. And then I'm going to submit the form. As you can see, it says over here, your test lead has been sent. So I'm going to go back to my Pabli Connect and I'm going to check whether a new response is captured by Pabli Connect or not. So as you can see right over here, a response is captured by Pabli Connect. So firstly for the email, it says as test user at the rate pablitudes.com. Next for the full name, it is as test user and a dummy mobile number. That means we have successfully connected our Facebook lead ads with Pabli Connect. After that, we need to set up our action step. For that, we have to click on this arrow right over here and it is asking for us to choose our action application and in the introduction i've already told you that our action application is going to be google sheets so i'm going to select google sheets after selecting our action application we need to select our action event and our action event is going to be add new row that means every time a new lead is generated with the help of facebook lead ads automatically all the details should be transferred into my google sheet and a new row should be added after selecting our action event and the action application i'm going to click on connect to connect google sheets with public connect a new window then will appear in front of you in which you have to click on add new connection but if you have an existing connection you can choose this option. After that we have to click on sign in with Google. Then a new window will appear in front of you in which it is asking for a permission. So I'm going to click on allow as this is a safe process and my data is safe with Pabli Connect. After that we have successfully authorized our Google Sheets with Pabli Connect. And after creating a connection between Google Sheets and Public Connect, firstly it is asking for to select spreadsheet. So in my Google Sheet, I have created a spreadsheet in the name of Speed Wheels Express Customer Details. So I'm going to go back and select my spreadsheet as Speed Wheel Express Customer Details. After that, it is asking for me to select a sheet. So in my spreadsheet, I've only created a single sheet in the name of sheet one. So I'm going to go back and select my sheet as sheet one. If you have created multiple sheets in your spreadsheet, you can choose the specific sheet in which you want to transfer your data. After that, it is asking for the email name and the mobile number. So in my spreadsheet, I've created three fields right over here. As you can see, first is email, then name, and then mobile number. So I want that every time a new lead is generated in my Facebook, Facebook lead ads, all of that details should be mentioned right over here. For that, what we are going to do is we are going to map the data. So mapping means insert data from previous step. So I'm going to insert the data from my previous trigger step. So as you can see over here, it is saying Facebook lead ads, new lead instance. So this is our trigger step. So I'm going to map the data from this step. For that, we have to click on this arrow right over here and we have to map the data for the email. So I'm going to select the data for the email by clicking over here. So I've mapped Add this data right over here so now this data has become dynamic that means every time a new response is captured over here in a trigger step automatically the data over here will be updated according to the new response in simple words that whenever any customer generates a new lead with the help of facebook lead ads the detail over here will be updated according to the new generated lead in our Facebook lead ads. So next what I'm going to do is I'm going to map the data for the name and the phone number. So I'm going to similarly follow the steps. I'm going to click over here. Then I'm going to click on this arrow right over here and it is asking for the name. So I'm going to map the data for the name. And after that for the phone number, I'm going to follow the same steps. So I'm going to select the phone number right over here. So as you can see, I've mapped the data right over here. So every time a new response is captured by Pabli Connect with the help of Facebook lead ads, all this data will be updated according to the new response. After that, I'm going to click on save and send test request. So as you can see over here, it says that a response is received. I'm going to go back to my Google Sheets and check whether the response is captured in my Google Sheet or not. For that, I'm going to go back to my Google Sheets. And yes, as you can see, the response is transferred into our Google Sheets. For the email, it says test user at the rate pablitudes.com. For the name, it says test user and a dummy mobile number. That means we successfully created an automation between Google Sheets and Facebook lead ads. So for you all guys, I'm going to submit in another response. I'm going to generate a new lead. For that, I'm going to open my lead ads testing tool. So you can see on the screen, this is the lead ads testing tool. After that, you can see over here, it says you can create one lead per form. You need to delete an existing lead in order to create a new one. So as you can see, I've already created a lead with the help of this form. So I'm going to delete this existing lead. For that, we have to click on delete lead. And as you can see, it says your lead has been deleted. After that, I'm going to click on refresh to refresh the page. 
So as you can see, I've deleted the lead and refreshed the page. This is a really important step because you can only create one lead per form. If you're not going to delete the existing lead, you will not be able to create a new lead. So after deleting the lead and refreshing the page over here, I'm going to select the page as Speed Real Express and for the form, I'm going to select it as Transport and Shipping. After selecting the page in the form, I'm going to click on preview form. So this is the form that I've created and I'm going to fill the details for the email, full name and the phone number. So as you can see, I've filled all the details for the email as demo user at the rate pablitudes.com for the full name as demo user and a dummy mobile number. After that, I'm going to click on next and then on submit. So as you can see, it says your test lead has been sent. So I'm going to go back to my Google Sheets and I'm going to check whether the data is transferred into my spreadsheet or not. For that, I'm going to go back to my Google Sheets. And yes, as you can see over here, the data is successfully transferred from the new lead that was generated with the help of Facebook lead ads into my Google Sheets. So for the email, it says as demo user at the rate pablitudes.com for the name as demo user and a dummy mobile number. That means we have successfully created an automation between Facebook lead ads and Google Sheets with the help of Pably Connect. So now to sum up, till now what we have done, I am an owner of a shipping and transport business that is Speed Wheels Express and I am promoting my business with the help of Facebook lead ads and I am getting a lot of leads for my business. So what I wanted was that every time a new lead is generated with the help of Facebook lead ads, automatically all the details of that lead should be transferred into my Google Sheets. For that, I have created an automation with the help of Pably Connect. So I have created a workflow in the name of Speed Wheels Express Facebook lead ads to Google Sheets. After that, firstly, to set up our trigger step, I have selected my trigger application as Facebook lead ads and my trigger event as new lead instant. That means every time a new lead is generated with the help of Facebook lead ads, automatically and instantly Public Connect is going to capture the response. After that, to set up our action step, I have selected my action application as Google Sheet and my action event as add new row. That means every time a new lead is generated with the help of Facebook lead ads, automatically all the data of that lead should be transferred into my Google Sheets and a new row should be added. So this is how we create an automation between Facebook lead ads and Google Sheets with the help of Pably Connect. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel, hit on the like button, comment down below if you have any questions and doubts and please share this video. So not just with these applications, you can automate more applications with the help of Pably Connect. If you have any doubt, you can send us email on support at the rate pably.com. If you have any queries, you can ask us queries on forum.pably.com. And if you have any questions regarding the Pably Connect pricing, you can check out this link. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel.